2433 at those houses. Hey everybody, Kevin here with Western Hunter Magazine. Uh, I wanted to show you today the new, uh, the latest rangefinder from Leupold. It's the RX5000 uh, TBRW, which stands for True Ballistic Range uh, with Windage. Um, this unit's pretty sweet. I've had it for you know maybe a month or more now. Uh, I've had a good opportunity to test it in a number of scenarios. Uh, today we're going to be kind of showing you, I think, one of the coolest features in it, which is its pinning feature. So Leupold partnered with Onyx Maps uh, on this platform. Uh, it's also integrating with Google Maps and Apple Maps. So essentially what this will allow you to do is really make this a pretty functional tool for wayfinding and navigating. Uh, whether you're planning a stock or you're just trying to figure out where you want to be shooting from or getting around in the backcountry, um, you essentially drop a pin where you want to range and seamlessly this thing shows you a pin right in Onyx Maps, which, um, you know, I know there's been some other, you know, devices and programs in the past that have used different mapping platforms, but like 99% of us are all using Onyx Maps out there. There's really not a better platform for that. Um, and so you're able to use the software that you're already, you know, used to using and you've already got your pins there. Um, the, the other nice thing is, is the setup in this thing, it couldn't be easier. You know, I think when you're looking at technology, a lot of the hangups and concerns for guys is, well, is the setup complicated? How functional is this going to be, you know, in the heat of the moment? Do I've got to switch back and forth between apps? How do I integrate it, pair it, calibrate it? Um, I'm not the most tech savvy guy in the world and I figured this thing out in less than like two minutes. It's really simple. Um, there's a calibration process you go through to make sure that your GPS uh, bearings are accurate in this unit. Uh, it takes like literally less than 35 to 45 seconds rolling this thing around. Um, one of the really nice things that Loophole did was develop a, a new app on your phone so you can control just about everything that the uh, unit has to offer <clears throat> from your phone. So you don't have to go through a series of button presses and weird menu you know, options that you can't really see too well through the viewfinder. Uh, it's called the Loophole Control App. So you can control like your reticle brightness, what sh you know, form of reticle you want. Are you measuring things in MOA or mills? Um, the calibration process, there's a, there's a whole lot of functions that you can control from the you know, your comfort of your app which is really nice as well. So it just makes it simple to get this thing rocking the way you want. Um, today, what I wanted to test is how accurate those pins are that they're, they're dropping on your Onyx maps. I've had this in you know, anywhere between 800 to you know, 1,000 yards so far when we were bear hunting last week. Um, pins were super accurate, um, but today we're, we've got a really nice you know, piece of land out here. I wanted to get something out there pretty far and and actually hike out to it and see how well did this thing actually drop a pin accurately to where i wanted to go so they also include a saddle um, that you can mount this thing to your tripod so this unit has a range capacity of 5,000 yards on reflective surfaces so there's a long range mode here um, the the recommendation by loophole and i think anybody would understand this is to mount this thing on a tripod when you're going to range something at that distance so you're taking the hand holding shaking component out of it. Um, I think this is a really well-made piece. It's Arca cut, so it just slides right into you know most tripod heads you've got. And then you've got a very accurate uh, holdover for dropping your pin. Uh, so we're gonna play with that today as well. All right, I'll show you how quickly this thing will actually send your pin to Onyx. So you open the loophole control app, um, you hit pin next, and basically what that tells you there is that the very next thing that you range is gonna take you directly to Onyx. So let's say you shoot an animal, you're trying to navigate to where you shot that animal or you're looking at a ridge that you wanna to get to to make a shot. Uh, you find it, hit a range, I got 434 yards, and then it automatically opens up Onyx. Uh, so I don't have to press anything, it just takes me right there. It drops a little loophole badge right where I need to get to it um, you know you can do anything you want with that you can either save that navigate to it whatever um, I know most guys like myself you're just gonna kind of keep your phone on the ready as you're getting your way to that so it's not just like a straight line um, so you know that was only 430 something yards um, not a whole lot of margin for error there but we're gonna try something a little bit further out and uh, test its accuracy all right, this is another cool feature. As I was telling you before, they give you the saddle that you can put in your tripod. 
So when you're ranging something, you know, exceedingly far, a thousand plus, it does help a ton to get an accurate range to mount this on a tripod, of course. Um, you can use their control app to do a remote fire. So you don't have to touch this thing to actually get the range. You can just use the Bluetooth pairing to hit remote fire. Uh, it gives me 1,008 yards. So I've got this thing lined up right on a Suaro, which is this one big old triumphant Suaro we're gonna kind of navigate to. Um, I'm gonna do the pin next feature, hit remote fire. So it dropped a pin right where that Suaro ought to be. Um, so we're gonna hike out there and see exactly how accurate this is. Like we know where that is, we know what the pin is, and we'll see how they match up. All right, so the pin that we dropped over a thousand yards away uh, got us to within 40 yards of this guy. Um, this is the big old prominent swar we ranged. Um, I, I personally think that being within 40 yards is something that's actually pretty impressive given the distance that we were away. Um, I don't know, you know, maybe I could have ranged a couple different areas that were a bit more reflective than this, uh, perhaps like the base of the rocks, but I still think in a situation where you're trying to find where you shot an animal at or where you want to shoot from. You know, you're taking inventory of what's around it. And so being within 40 yards, uh, if you've got your eyes open and you're aware is, is perfectly acceptable for most practical situations. Um, I think it's wayfinding capabilities. This new, uh, you know, RX 5000 is, is awesome. Its ability to kind of pair with the uh, Onyx maps is really slick. Um, again, the, whole other side of this unit, which I think has, I've already tested, is, is the ballistic solution side of it. Uh, we've got 25 pre-programmed um, ballistic loads in there. I programmed mine to the 7PRC uh, Hornady ELDX uh, out to 700 yards a few weeks ago. It was, it was perfect. So the holdovers it was giving me um, was, was, was dead on. So I'm super impressed with that. And I think at the price point of $699, it's absolutely a unit that a lot of guys should be taking a look at this year if you're in the market for a kind of do-it-all rangefinder. You know, it's, it's no longer enough for a rangefinder just to tell you true angle compensated ranges. Obviously, it's got the full ballistic uh, solution library in there. Um, and then it's navigational wayfinding capabilities is, is pretty impressive as well. So um, this thing's hitting the mark on all that. So uh, check it out this year, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, if you've got any questions, let us know.